We are ready for chapter six in the Magic Tree House. Dinosaurs before dark. When we left off, Jack had found a coin in the dinosaur land. Annie, look at this, Jack called. Look what I found. Annie had gone up to the hilltop. She was picking a flower from the magnolia tree. Annie, look, a medallion, shouted Jack. But Annie wasn't paying attention to Jack. She was staring at something on the other side of the hill. Oh, wow, she said, clutching her magnolia flower. She took off down the hill. Annie, come back, Jack shouted, but Annie had disappeared. Oh, brother, Jack muttered. He stuffed the gold medallion into his jeans pocket. Then Jack heard Annie shriek, ah! Annie, he yelled. Jack heard another sound as well, a deep bellowing sound like a tuba. Burr, burr. Jack, come here quick, Annie called. Jack raced up the hill, and when he got to the top, he gasped. <gasps> the valley below was filled with nests, big nests made out of mud, and the nests were filled with tiny baby dinosaurs. Annie was crouching next to one of the nests. Towering over her was a giant duck-billed dinosaur. Don't panic. Don't move, said Jack. He stepped slowly down the hill toward Annie. The huge dinosaur was waving her arms and making a tuba sound. There's our little picture. Annie and the dinosaur nest. There's Mama and the babies. Jack stopped. He did not want to get too close. He knelt on the ground. Okay, move slowly toward me. Slowly, he said. Annie started to stand up. Don't stand, crawl, said Jack. Clutching her flower, Annie crawled toward Jack. Still bellowing, making that noise, the duck-billed dinosaur followed her. Annie froze. Keep going, said Jack. Annie started crawling again. Jack inched farther down the hill until he was just ar an arm's distance from Annie. He reached out and grabbed her hand. He pulled Annie toward him. Stay down, Jack said. He crouched next to her. Bow your head. Pretend to chew. Chew, said Annie. Yes, said Jack. I read that's what you do if a mean dog comes at you. She's no dog, Jack, said Annie. Just chew. Jack and Annie both bowed their heads and pretended to chew. Soon the dinosaur grew quiet. Jack looked up. I don't think she's mad anymore, he said. You saved me, said Annie. Thanks. You have to use your brain, Annie, said Jack. You can't go running to a nest of babies. There's always a mother nearby. Annie stood up. Annie, don't, said Jack, too late. Annie held out her magnolia flower to the dinosaur. I'm sorry I made you worry about your baby, she said. The dinosaur moved closer to Annie. She grabbed the flower from her hand and she reached for another. No more, said Annie. The dinosaur let out a, ta a sad tuba sound. But there are more flowers up there, Annie said. She pointed to the top of the hill. I'll get you some. Annie hurried up the hill. The dinosaur waddled after her. Jack quickly looked at the dinosaur babies. Some were crawling about out of their nests. Where are the other mothers, Jack wondered. Jack took out the dinosaur pa book. He flipped through the pages. He found the picture of some duck-billed dinosaurs. He read the caption, The Anatosauruses lived in colonies. While well, a few mothers babysat the nest, the others looked for food. So the duck build means that they had a face like a duck. So there were probably more mothers close by looking for food. Hey, Jack, Annie called. Jack looked up. Annie was at the top of the hill, feeding magnolia flowers to giant anatosaurus. Guess what, Annie said. She's nice, too. Suddenly, the anatosaurus made her terrible tuba sound. Boom, boom. Annie crouched down and started to chew. The dinosaur charged down the hill. She seemed afraid of something. 
Jack put the book on top of his pack. He hurried to Annie. I wonder why she ran away, said Annie. We were starting to be friends. Jack looked around. What he saw in the distance almost made him faint. An enormous monster was coming across the plain. There's the Anatosaurus running away. The monster was walking on two strong legs. It was swinging a long thick tail and dangling two tiny arms. It had a huge head and its jaws were wide open. Even from far away, Jack could see its long gleaming teeth. And do you know what dinosaur has tiny arms and big teeth? Tyrannosaurus Rex, Jack whispered. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a dangerous meat eater. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Bye.